Alright guys, I'm back over here at the DPS. I'm trying to get my license one more time. I got a lot of letters here. Let's see. Not a lot of people here this time. And oh, is it God who chose in these situations? Running little no delay. So guys, I got my ID finally. Uh, took a minute, you know what I'm saying? You have to have two forms of ID with a name and a date and an address and the date has to be 30 to 90 days. It can't be past 90, it can't be earlier than 30. I usually get the cheeseburgers. Okay. Not no bacon, just, this, this, junior cheeseburgers. Don't say, can you say bacon to charge a dollar? Hi, can I have- Give me three of them. Uh, three junior cheeseburgers. <clears throat> Okay, what else? Um, let's see, what else? Um, on your drinks, do you have something that's non-caffeinated? Or is it tea or what do you put in them? Lemonade, right? I can't do lemonade. No. I guess the a Sprite. would be fruit punch Okay. Powerade. Oh, good. Let me try your fruit punch. Just the small one. What size? Small. Okay, what else? Um, is that it? Yes. Would that be all? Yes, ma'am, that's all. Yeah, How long are you waiting? I was tired of going in there, man. That was the third time I was in there. No, no. I'm tired of going there. My new ID, they, they don't expire for a while, huh? Maybe like five, ten years. Oh as long as I can keep hold of it. It's a I, yeah, don't lose it. I, from now on, they're all lost. They say it's lost, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, they took it. They took the other one. And it's hard to get all the paperwork and stuff. It's hard to get your ID. It's hard to get all the paper. Oh, yeah. Everything they charge, and then they want to charge you for it, too. So you guys, I got a little bit more stuff over here at the stripes, stripes, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, there it is. Uh, I got some um, Sprite uh, meal. I got two of these bad boys right here. They used to be a dollar, 50 cents each. These would be two for a dollar, now they're a dollar each. Which is ridiculous. And they don't have anything else in them. They don't have cheese. Nothing. They do have the condiments and stuff. You can get like onions and stuff. I forgot to get it though. But uh, but yeah. Mm, some of these are bad. This one is bad.
And if I didn't get that, you know how much I would have to pay on the... Uh, yeah, I'm more, I was more happy. I didn't even wait on the train for like a two days sitting on a train. Instead of like two hours on a plane. I'm not going to tell her that it's deeper. Yep. Is she going to stay in town? Pretty good weather to have beautiful beaches there, man. Oh, yeah. You know the real. Oh, stupid. Stupid So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, follow, and share. Anyways, Tia made it to Florida yesterday. She got this clip. She sent, uh, she's already in Florida. I hear something moving. I don't know what it is. Yeah, guys, I'm feeling some, like, like, uh, trembling. And it's not, like, super strong, but it's, like, it, it doesn't have, it, it's, like, once in a while, it's not, like, <clears throat> but when I was in the bathroom, I was feeling, like, boom, I was, like, what the, uh, but, yeah, uh, but right now, I was watching, uh, YouTube, and I felt, and I heard the like a noise too, like oh, uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna try to go to bed, pick up the vlog tomorrow. I'll let you know if I hear anything else or something happens. So guys, I just bought my plane ticket to Florida, so yeah, that's going to be at the end of the month, so enjoy the rest of my time down here in Beeville, Texas, Brownsville, Texas, it's not that cold here, hopefully it's not that cold right now in Florida, because then I got to cop me a jacket, I should bring a jacket anyway, just in case, probably that blue one over there. Hello my friends, we meet again. It's been a while, where should we begin? It feels like forever. Hello, my friends, we meet again. It's been a while, where should we begin? It feels like forever. So as we to the part of the video, boom, when we talk about uh, basically, his response to this video, uh, Watch This Before You Die, by Matt Davila. And uh, I wanted to say, you know, I've been through a lot in my life here, and everybody has, right? Blah. So, um, I wanted, to, I, and I do think about this all, all the time. And it says, in the beginning of the video, it says a lot of people, oh, I want to tell you this, that you're going to, you know, pass. And I don't like saying that because of the YouTube algorithms or whatever, or YouTube, they're going to demonetize. So I'm going to say pass for um, being deceased, right? So we all pass, right? Okay, so um, there's a fine line between doing what you wanna do 
okay, and that quality of life. That's what I want to talk about in this video. <laughs> quality of life, okay? There's a difference between the things that you want to do, your finances, and the quality of life. So, I mean, if you got a lot of money and all that stuff, you know, and you have some to spare, um, then you can go ahead and do some things. Now, some things are impossible to do, no matter how much money you have. For instance, passing doesn't discriminate who you are. Time doesn't discriminate who you are. And love, stuff like that, they, they, they doesn't care what you are, who you are, how much you have. Those things are in a place in the uh, universe. And so, um, yeah, you guys should watch this video, actually. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a couple of videos on this. But anyways, um, I just want to say, like, yeah. I've been homeless too before. Just like 2017, I've been homeless in Las Vegas. And, you know, you know, having a hard time finding food. You go ask a homeless person, hey, what do you want to do before you pass? What's your bucket list? Go ask a homeless person that. They're, it's going to be very different from asking somebody that's working every day, nine to five. Someone that's working every day, nine to five, um, they're going to most likely tell you, I want to quit my job and I want to have my own house, you know, something like that. Homeless people, they're not going to say that. Homeless people are going to say, I want a job and I want a house, a roof over my head. Not even a house, just somewhere to live, somewhere to go to at night, somewhere to stay. Their wishes become more simplistic because their quality quality of life is lower. Now, there's all other stuff on the other hand, like, like yeah, I've been to Paris, France. I've seen the Eiffel, I've been on the Eiffel Tower. I've been to Cancun. I've seen the pyramids. There's even a video about this guy that says that he wanted to to do all these things before he he, he had gotten in a bad art car accident okay and he was like oh he was only 19 years old he said, he said uh he wanted to go to these see, see, go to these places and see these things with his girlfriend and he was in a coma and in the coma he met life and uh this and death right so uh so they were telling him they were telling talking to him and they were saying um, you're, you, when you're afraid to pass, you know, you're, you're afraid to live. And then the other one, the other one was saying, you, you, you can't have one without the other, basically. They're inseparable. So they were like, you know, you should watch the video. Uh, uh, it's on one minute videos channel. It's like their top videos, like, like 12 million views. Um, let me see what the name of it is. Okay. So the name of this video is called why you shouldn't fear death that's the name of the video and there's some things i can agree in the in there and some things i could disagree with depending on my mindset so that's why everybody always has a different opinions because everybody's in a different frame of mind different mindset and even your goals can change you know when you're waiting in your life your goals can change and your perception can change the more older you get um so that's another thing but yeah riding a bull and this and that like if you ever thought about because i think I think mostly negative well, some of the, most of the time than positive. See what I'm saying? Um, when I am thinking positive, my mind drags me down to come back to to reality, right? Or when I'm when I'm positive, I have to kind of force myself to. Uh, when I'm too negative, I have to force myself to look for the light. You see what I'm saying? And then when I'm in a good balance place, I'm okay. You know, I'm cool right now. So I have to. It's about balance. You know, that's what life is about. And that's one of the things I can agree on, I think, in that in that show I just mentioned, in that video I just mentioned from One Minute Videos. They do say we are, it's part of the universe. The universe is about balance, and they're on the teeter-totters. The, so I do agree with that, because I have experienced a lot of things also with uh, uh, the other side. So, um, so, yeah, there is a balance in the universe, and it always has to be balance. Uh, sun, moon, boy, girl, you know, dark, light you know, fire, water, everything is balanced. Um, so yeah, let me see what I, what I was saying. Anyways, guys, um, I, I, I guess that's it for now. Leave your comments below, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, follow, and share the video. And uh, yeah, peace out. I'm going to go ahead and eat real quick, man.